man, it's been a hot second since I used this particular setup and not StreamYard, but here we are. So I was supposed to do a live stream today and then I canceled it mostly because there's an outside commitment. I'm going to be mis uh, meeting up with the Ohio Arts Council talking about potential grant opportunities that are coming down the pipeline and seeing if I qualify for any of those. And if I do qualify for any of those, the best way to apply for them. So, you know, fingers crossed. Hope that goes well. But that particular meeting is happening at the same time that I usually do my live streams. So I just opted to cancel tonight's stream. That said, I am reconfiguring how I'm doing live streams. Uh, because the last couple of live streams, the viewership has been going increasingly downwards. And look, on the one hand, there's something to be said about YouTube being a social media platform. And social media platforms are Skinner boxes that operate off of like roulette wheel logic, where it's all randomized. And that's... It's a way to keep people on your platforms. I'll put it that way. But there's no like rhyme or reason, excuse my phone, there's no rhyme or reason to figuring out a system that's like, oh, you have to post your video on this day at this time in order to get the best results. Like that just doesn't work no matter what the YouTube gurus say. So on the one hand, like I have been streaming consistently Tuesdays and Thursdays with the exceptions of like when I get sick or something, but like yeah, viewership for my live streams has been trending downwards, which tells me that people are not catching them live and they're not watching the replays. So what this also signals to me as the person making the videos, and this is just something that I noticed this morning, because uh, I was asking, I was thinking to myself, would I watch these replays if I was the viewer, and if the answer is no, why am I making them? So that's where I'm at now. Because, like, honestly, part of the reason I even started doing live streams was to show the process of making comics. But even if nobody is watching that, I would still make comics. But if I'm making live streams with the aim of having people watch them, but I would not watch them as the viewer, why would I make them? You know what I mean? So for the time being, I'm going to take a break from doing live streams. I'm going to give it about a week or two and we'll see if I come back to them. If I come back to them, if they change in any way. So we'll see what happens there. As far as shorts and regular old videos, those will still happen. Shorts, <laughs> I keep needing to remind myself to post them more consistently. I keep forgetting to post them uh, on the Mondays and Wednesday scheduling that I promised. So I'm going to have to set alarms or something for that. But shorts will still keep being a thing. They will keep going up on YouTube and TikTok for videos like in this kind of a format where it's not live streams, but it's me talking to the camera or like an art plus story time video or a time lapse video or basically any kind of horizontal type format like this uh, that's not a live stream. I still want to make those and I actually have a few videos like that in the pipeline that I'm really excited to share with you guys. But this comes down to the point of if I was a viewer, I want to watch those videos, <laughs> you know? So I'm, again, going to take a break from doing live streams. I'm going to give it like two weeks. Um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to give it until after Rathacon. Rathacon is April 13th down in Athens, Ohio. That is my next official in-person appearance is Rathacon on April 13th down in Athens, Ohio. If you're in the area, I hope you come and say hi. Other than that, no live streams before then. We'll see what happens after that. But I'm still going to do shorts and videos. Maybe not channel updates like this one. 
but this was just an announcement to keep you in the loop as to why the changes. So hope that this works out in the long run. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about taking a break from live streams. Um, I know that there are some folks who did dig watching the live streams. And if you are one of those, shout it out in the comments. Cause like, I know I'm usually pretty okay with the live streams where people just kind of lurk while I work and they don't interact with the live chat. But on the other hand, it's like, oh man, is it, is it lonely? <laughs> Is it lonely just me being the one talking to the camera and and drawing and I don't even know how many people are watching at any given time? So like that was another reason why I want to take a break. So I'm going to take a break from doing live streams. We'll revisit it after April 13th. Besides that, I mean, I do have some other stuff, other very exciting stuff that's happening. I actually did some major updates to my online store, I've added some new downloadable comics, some mini prints, and a couple of books left over from AwesomeCon, which was my last show. So if you want to check out my online store, the link for that's going to be in the description. Uh, you can also subscribe to my email newsletter to get free web comics. This is especially important because I found out about some shenaniganery with Webtoons. Um, turns out Webtoons is okay with AI generated comics and AI generated art and like openly endorses this kind of technology, which is art theft, but it tracks for Webtoon because Webtoon is a capitalist machine and they want to generate as many comics as possible as quickly as possible, even if it means exploiting their labor. And this is something that Webtoons has been known to do in the past. So it does not surprise me that they would willingly endorse AI generated stuff, but it is still disappointing. So I am no longer updating The Legend of Jamie Roberts on Webtoon. I discussed it with CB for validation. We are discontinuing validation on Webtoon. So alternate ways to read those web comics, those are going to be linked down in the description as well. So we're not going to be doing Webtoons anymore. I am looking to start mirroring comics onto Tapas instead but I want to do a little bit more research just to make sure that tapas is kosher, as it were. I realize that that's not really like a YouTube update, but it is kind of connected because on YouTube, I often show the process of making pages for the legend of Jamie Roberts. So for anybody who might be interested in reading that webcomic, still the best place to read that is going to be the official legend of Jamie Roberts website for the time being. Any other changes for that? And I'll keep you posted. That's all I've got for now. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Wish me luck with the Ohio Arts Council today. And that's all I have. Uh, subscribe for the next update. I'm hoping to get a new video up soon-ish <laughs> that's not a live stream or a short. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. You are awesome.